Hey guys, so for this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect a IBM iSeries AS400 to UiPath or just more basically how to use the terminal activities in UiPath. I'm just using the IBM i as a example here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up a project. We're going to go to manage packages and we're going to go to a terminal. And what we're going to do is we're going to install our UiPath terminal activities. Um, I'm using the most recent version for this video. So once we have that installed, we're going to use our terminal session activity. I'm going to drop that into my sequence and then we're going to get prompted with this configure with this connection configuration. So um, for my specific use case, I have no issue using direct connection. Um, uh, just for trans for I guess visibility, I'm using pub 400. This is kind of my current setup. Um, but I've worked with, you know, uh, IBM I's through IBM I access client solutions. And it's basically almost the exact same steps if you're using IBM I access client solutions. So, um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to type in my address. Oops. Let's delete this. I copied the wrong thing. It's pub400.com for my specific setup. Again, you might have like a literal IP address, um, but since, you know, for this purpose, I'm using pub 400 IBM I. The port is on 23 um, for my setup or for pub 400, it's on 23. We're gonna set this to 5250. We're gonna keep this all the same. Um, I always need it at 27 by 132. If I don't, things start acting a little bit strange in my setup, uh, but again, up to you guys. I'm going to keep this all as default. We're going to hit OK and it's going to connect. And there we go. So your login screen might look different because I'm using pub 400. It has this like unique pub 400 type of uh, situation here. So this is where we can, it's basically recording our activities currently. So there's two ways you can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and type and I'm going to be entering my username. So let's just type username. Obviously, you would put your literal username. Um, I'm then going to set control key, and this is going to be tab. This is going to bring us down a row. And I'm then going to type and type my password. Um, I'm not going to expose my actual password because with the address port, username and password, you can access my account. So obviously, I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, we're then going to do a transmit, which is an enter. And so we're going to save and exit. And that has just captured all of our steps. So I do have variables called username and password. Uh, the username variable doesn't really make any sense because it's going to be exposed on the screen anyway. I might decide to just blur it out. Um, we're going to transmit. And I'm going to put a delay here just so I can show you guys this working. Uh, let's just do, let's just do two seconds. Doesn't need to be that long. I'm also going to put this at the beginning because sometimes it can take a few seconds to load up. I'm going to go ahead and debug this and I'll show you guys it running. Typing in my username, my password, hitting enter, and there we go. So one thing to note is um, when I've used these activities, I've typically used the, you know, at position. So if you've ever noticed, typically your position is captured somewhere on the screen. In my instance, it's down here, my cursor position. So right now um, I'm at row 20, column seven. You'll need to take note of this when you're entering commands or, you know, selecting text on the screen. Like, let's say I want to grab user tasks. I would have to put my cursor. One second, I disconnected. So my cursor at, you know, um, row five, column 10. So I would have to capture from one row five, column 10 to row five, column 20. I believe it's how it works. Let's just take an example, uh, get field at position. 
Um, I believe you have to specify, or maybe it's get text at position. Yeah, get text at position. Okay, so you specify the like. Like, let's say I want to grab 20, carrier, uh, 20 characters. So let's just do a few examples here. Let's say I want to grab this value. Um, so we're talking uh, row 5, column 10. Let's do 20 characters. Who cares? And we're going to store that into a variable. Let's just call it temp. Uh, get text and let's just console let's just right line it we're gonna say temp get text we'll put a breakpoint here or let's actually just wait and then we're going to do a let's do a set 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 text deposition set field deposition and we're gonna do our row 20 column 7 and we're going to run our display mess excuses software command. Right? Display mess excuses software. Then we can put a um, toggle breakpoint. So um, I'll have to do a transmit as well. So we actually enter that screen. So let's try this out. So username, password. Oh. So this is actually a great example. Typically there are those messages at the beginning. Like if you forget to exit the system and you have restart or you get booted out, like you might get some type of message. So what I always do is I always do just a second transmit after I enter the password, just so I can hit enter and clear those messages or just ignore them if they pop up. So let's try this again. Yep, as you can see, it grabbed the text, user tasks, and it's printed it at the bottom here. So let's hit continue. And again, it did, sorry, it cut out for a second, but it did do its dis display mess excuses opera command um, to enter that screen. So that's really just a basic overview of how you can connect to a terminal in this specific example in IBM I, I AS400. But again, this is applicable to any terminal you have um, and want to connect to. So. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys and thank you for watching.